The Jones River Watershed Association provided critical data related to property ownership, topography, existing and historic habitat, and water quality in the heavily degraded Stony Brook, Tussock Brook Marsh system in Kingston, with which the state's Division of Ecological Restoration developed a comprehensive restoration and management plan for the area, with two specific restoration goals. One, the removal of the tide gate at Tussock Brook, and two, the development of a preliminary sediment management plan for Stony Brook. The Jones River, for your audience, is the probably the northern boundary of the Pine Barrens. Um, it is uh, a small river by most standards, except ours, because it is, in its seven and a half miles, the largest river draining into Cape Cod Bay, which makes it an important nursery habitat for not only Cape Cod Bay, but the Gulf of Maine fisheries, which in my estimation is its greatest asset to the people in the region. But in addition to that, um, the Jones River is uh, used for uh, uh, cranberry agriculture primarily. It has tremendous native habitats that it supports and it is the drinking supply for probably 150,000 people in the region. The city of Brockton derives its 9 million gallons or 10 million gallons a day out of Silver Lake, which is the headwater of the Jones River. It's not a reservoir per se. It is a glacial lake that was established 14,000 years ago by the retreat of the glacier. Um, and that spillage uh, in, into the east side as the glacier was retreating formed the Jones River and began this legacy of, of environmental endowment uh, that has left us with really a superior complex of mixed environments here in, the south, in southeastern Massachusetts and a very rich resource of cold, fresh water that supports and sustains a multitude of fisheries, both fish that come in from the ocean as well as native fisheries. In fact, we have one of the few cold water trout fisheries in southeastern Massachusetts. Over the ages, I guess you could say, uh, as the colonists developed, uh, one of its great projects was the development of Route 3 um, uh, in the 1950s. Uh, and Route 3 uh, bridges the Jones River, but it not only bridges the Jones River, it bridges Tussock Brook. And when they built that roadway over Tussock Brook, there was something that was going on uh, then that caused them to change what they did and they created a tide gate and a concrete culvert under the highway in order to pass Tussock Brook. Tussock Brook is a small stream that drains parts of Duxbury, um, the Bay Farm condominium complex and parts of the area across um, uh, Tremont Street uh, up on, you know, near, near the exit 10 interchange, drains down through there. Um, and it is an important, uh, it's a really beautiful habitat, but it, it has um, been seriously affected by the tide gate. So uh, last couple of years uh, with the Division of Ecological Restoration, uh, Jones River has sought Mass DOT's help to remove the tide gate and remove the culvert because there really is no purpose to it. And like many of the dams in the region, when it loses a purpose but maintains all of its problems um, affecting the fish migration, uh, changing water quality, um, creating obstacles for man and beast to travel, then they should be removed. And like most infrastructure, Route 3 needs a lot of work, and some of that work should be taking out these obstacles uh, that create an, an, an impingement on, on the migration of fish and animals. So, um, so DER, together with uh, Jones River Watershed Association, several years ago began to study how taking out the tide gate and the culvert there, which is a concrete culvert with concrete floor that creates kind of a lip 
um, at low tide. So at low tide, there's a, a disconnect basically between Tussock Brook and Stony Brook right at its junction with the Jones River um, near Landing Road in Kingston for those that are somewhat familiar with the area. Um, and that we think should come away. Now in the last year the tide gate fell off and is floating around the river. Uh, we intend to go pick that up because it's a problem. It's a great big heavy piece of, of um, you know strapped together lumber. Um, and then the culvert remains, but it's in terrible shape. There's, you know, uh, uh, sheet metal sides to it that are falling into the river. Um, but I had I had the opportunity to walk up there several times, and in the colonial past, uh, when Governor Bradford, this was Governor Bradford's first grant to him, um, uh, this 20 acres, and he had. Uh, among other things, among shipbuilding that started here, uh, he had um, uh, clay, clay out of the Tussock Brook created a lot of the pottery and the bricks that they made here. And um, it's got some really beautiful clay in that area. So we're hoping to get the whole tide gate out of there. We're hoping to get the culvert out of there. And DER has been a significant partner in this and honestly, without their knowledge and uh, I would say stick to itiveness. You know, for a state agency, they are you know, the top of my list, I would say, in terms of their ability to keep focus on their projects and to take them stepwise to a, to a completion time.